I'm Susan McGinnis with Clean Skies News. A new documentary by a California pro-drilling organization claims offshore drilling is needed to protect the environment. The film was screened in Washington today and Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan was there to watch it. Lee, what happened today? Well, Susan, the group is called SOS California. They are pro-drilling and as their website states, they are also pro-environment. The SOS in their name stands for Save Our State, and in their new documentary, they point out to drilling as a way to clean up the tar-laced beaches of California. Now, the film cl claims that natural cracks in the ocean floor releases millions of barrels of oil and methane gas into the ocean every year. Now, these cracks, also known as oil seeps, are caused from the immense pressure from California's offshore oil reserves. And SOS California states billions of dollars are literally being washed away and the oil slicks are killing wildlife. The public is largely unaware of the impact of pollution caused by natural oil seeps. I've actually asked some of the so-called environmentalists what their plan is as far as the seepage. You know, what are you guys going to do? And they don't have a plan. So if we have millions of barrels that are actually seeping into the environment every year, then we're talking about a significant amount of revenue potential that is being lost. Now, the film made its Washington debut at the Heritage Foundation, and the co-founder of SOS California was on hand. He says areas of California that have offshore drilling reduce the pressure on these oil seeps, and there is less oil and methane gas being released, therefore making offshore drilling a good thing for the environment. It's now pretty much been proven and shown that the effects on the coastline have been positive. There's really no question. I, I've actually walked those beaches for over 40 years. I used to walk those beaches in the 60s and every time I walked them literally my feet had oil on them. Now you walk them, usually you don't. So there's really no question for a large swath of the central California coast these beaches have been oiled for hundreds of thousands of years and they're far cleaner now. Now, a major part of this documentary looks at the San Santa Barbara oil spill of 1969 and what has been learned since that disaster. And Susan, the filmmakers claim that during a massive seep release in 2005, twice as many birds were killed compared with that landmark 1969 Santa Barbara Platform A spill. So what is the reaction from uh, environmentalists to this film? Well, Susan, as, as you can guess, uh, they say this is nothing more than a wolf in sheep's clothing, claiming that natural occurring oil seepage is real, but it's done over such a long period of time that the environmental impact is minimal and marine life learn to adapt. And they point out to the pro-drilling uh, pro groups that they don't take account for all the other environmental has hazards that go into offshore drilling, such as building uh, platforms and the industrial infrastructure that is needed on the coast to support such an action. And Susan, uh, as you remember, last year uh, the Santa Barbara County voted to lift a moratorium on drilling that was knocked down by the California State Legislature, and groups like SOS California are targeting those state le legislators mm -hmm. that uh, knocked down that uh, th that ruling, and they want to get them out of office uh, come come this November. Okay. So, and do the environmentalists uh, not buy the argument about the releasing of the pressure by drilling? They don't. They don't buy that. They say that's just uh, uh, the the pro drilling people's way of getting uh, more money out of the California coastline, and they say that it, it's just going to be a disaster if they let drilling happen again. All right, interesting documentary. Lee Patrick Sullivan, thanks. And I'm Susan McGinnis with Clean Skies News.